What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make the best black and red fish sandwich you've ever had. Alright guys, here's what we're working with today. Uh, we got first off, we got the ciabatta rolls. That's going to be basically what's holding the sandwich together. Then we got tomatoes, jalapenos, uh, some smoked provolone. Of course we got redfish. We got some blackening seasoning and some spinach. So I like to put my blackening seasoning in a little tub like this. Then I'm just going to take the redfish fillets, dump them in here, shake them around, get them good mixed up. Then we're going to go over to the cast iron pan. Um, we're going to blacken them in the cast iron pan with a little bit of butter. And then after that, we're going to slap them on the ciabatta roll. We're going to put some honey mustard on there. And we are going to pile all this stuff on top of it, and it's going to be delicious. All right, we got our redfish. I'm just going to drop them in here. Just like that. I got my lid. Eh, hard to do one-handed. Alright, just gonna shake it up for a little bit. Get them nice and coated. I really like them really thickly coated with that blackening seasoning. Let's see what they look like. Oh man, that's perfect right there. That's gonna be good. So now, I'm gonna get started over here with the cast iron. Got a new, I got my pre-cut piece of butter. Drop him in there. Turn it on, get that butter melting. Once this butter's melted, we're gonna put the redfish in here, blacken it for a little bit. Alright, so redfish are close to done, so I'm gonna, um, ciabatta rolls now are gonna go in Mr. Toaster. Alright, redfish is about done, and our ciabatta roll just got toasted. Ooh, that's toasted. So now I'm gonna spread some honey mustard. I usually just buy the, the boar's heads, good stuff. I'm gonna spread some honey mustard on here, and then we're gonna put the redfish on here and get to assembling. All right, got the um, honey mustard all spread on. Now, the trick to the assembly process is to put the fish on while they're still hot, and then slide, and you want to slide the provolone on top of that so it melts. So now, while I got these still hot, take a big old slice of provolone, slide it on top, that way it's going to melt. Next I'm just going to do a couple tomatoes. We're going to sneak a couple jalapenos in there. Usually just two slices. Some spinach. And boom! That is a black and red fish sandwich. Alright guys, if you watched my uh, catching video, you probably know I have been craving a black and redfish sandwich all day. This is... Oh man. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. It's been a long time. That's delicious. Look at that. 
It's just so unbelievably good. Because you got you got the honey mustard, you got the provolone, the tomatoes, the the ciabatta rolled is just ciabatta rolls are just so much better than like any other kind of bread. Got the jalapenos in there for a little bit of kick. Oh, I mean, black and redfish is delicious on its own anyways. This is probably... These sandwiches are the best sandwiches I've ever, I've ever eaten. Like, they're just delicious. This is so good. I'm going to eat this entire thing in front of you guys. guys <clears throat> you can probably tell I thought that was delicious you need to make one if you out there and you catch a slot redfish man make a black and redfish sandwich they're delicious but anyways thank you guys for watching I know it was probably torture watching me <laughs> eat a delicious sandwich especially if it's like four in the afternoon or something whenever you guys are watching this so but um, again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys try this out. It really is. I mean, it, it, I'm not just saying it. It really is my favorite sandwich. So try it out and uh, you will love it. Um, if you didn't see the catching video, excuse me. If you didn't see the catching video, you guys should definitely check that out. Um, that was a lot of fun and I got some red fish too. So obviously, because I just ate them. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you guys next time.